Sit over here, left leg there, right leg there. Cool. Cross your arms in front of you. Cross the arms. Look like this, like this. Up like that. Right? Straight ahead. So I'm going to turn you uh, this way first. You're going to try to get a little twisting out of your body. Okay? So you're going to come this way. That one is breathing for me, really. Hold me out. Breathe out. Let it go. One more. That was it. Bring this underneath. I'm going to go to the right now, okay? Come this way. Hold on a second. Here you go. Just let it go. A little bit more. Awesome. Keep your hands there. I don't think we're going to get anything in there. So this time, um, I'll ask you to breathe. And when I say breathe out, I'm going to lean you back. Okay? Right, so tuck your head in a little bit. We're going to get to that later. I'm going to try to get moving here, and then your upper back also. Okay. Well, you're breathing really deep. Breathe all the way out, lean back. Just let it go, breathe out, come back up. You yeah, got that, huh? I'm going to try to go a little higher, breathe in. Just relax a little more. Good. Come back up. Good. Let's see how we're doing. I want you to take this leg, just raise it up a little bit. Raise it up, the whole thing. The whole leg. No, no. All leg. No, keep One, it like that. Three. That's it. Good. Bring it right back down. Okay, you're gonna feel a little tap inside here, okay? Just gonna try to move around this SI a little bit. So 
this increased curve in his upper back is called a kyphosis. Anybody ever said that? It's a kyphosis. Right? And the problem is it just gets bigger sometimes. We don't take care of it. You don't want that to happen. Breathe in again real deep. All the way out. Now relax. Good. Let me have you lay down on your side, face my window, please. Yeah, right on your side, rest your hand right in there. Just rest your hand. Cool. Good. Turn you a little bit. Just bend that leg. Come a little closer to me. Just like that, relax. Good. I'm just going to put my hand in here. I'm just going to let your hips, let your hips kind of pull forward a little bit. Just let them pull forward. Come right on your back, lay your face up. How you doing? Okay, good. Right. So I take your knees, squeeze them together, squeeze them together, hard. Here we go. Let that drop down. Let that drop down. That felt what? Alright, crazy. Good. Let it drop down to the side. Let that drop down to the side. That's all you got? Right here, a little bit. Think. So you got to do the stretch also. All right, you want to get some more hops? You got to your hips have to be more open. All right. Right now you're tight all the way up to here. See that right there? That's how tight that muscle is. So if you can stretch that out a little bit, you can get some more hops. Just let you know. Let it drop down. Good. Just relax your body for a second. You can check your ankles. You turn your ankles a lot or no? Uh, not really. No? That's good. Breathe in really deep. Got it. Okay, just breathe normal. Breathing really deep for me if you can. Got it. Good. Slide back up. Good. Yeah. You ever had that done before? Good. You should do that. Keep your ankles flexible. The way I just did that? Someone said to you that? Done that to you before? I've done it before. You? I said, anybody else? Oh, anybody else? Me? Me? Anybody else? Yeah. I was going to say, if you got something that can do that, then do that. Because the more flexible your ankles are, the more strength your, your ankles will be. There are some guys that lose their whole career because their ankles. You know? hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you want to strengthen up your feet, run barefoot in the park or the beach. You want to strengthen up your feet. Every muscle, that's what you do. Barefoot. So my son, um, I would have him train when he was in high school. So you know he got a scholarship to run track. I would have him run before practice. When everybody was warming up, doing practice, doing warm-up drills, I would have him do them barefoot. And everybody was like, yo, this guy's crazy. This is crazy Puerto Rican doing, right? I was like, this, this is just what you're supposed to do, right? My grandmother told me something like that. And so, when he got picked up by a school, the whole track team started running barefoot. Oh, <laughs> yep, Isn't that amazing? And see, I went, I went to go watch him train one day, and like, the whole team was running barefoot. So, you tell me, grandma was right. An old, short, little four foot three, Puerto Rican. One say Puerto Rico. Here. Bring on in. Three deals in. Pull me out. Here we go. Another one. Give him a deep. Pull me out. Let it go. One more. 
Give your hand up, nice and easy. You can sit up. Put your three legs over there. Sit right back here. So you can sit your shoulders over there. You have that feel. He's just small for his size. <laughs> so we said you're not going to go buy one of those bras, right? No. Right? Don't wait. You don't want to do that. You could. It's probably the easy way out. That's the easy way out, right? Or you can start using your foam roller right before you before you practice before you play. Roll out your body, roll out your legs, your hamstrings, your hip joints also, because you're a little tight inside there. How do you roll right. out your legs? Uh, you just, just put leg, it on there. You put it on and roll it out. Roll out the side, roll out the back, roll out the front, lay down on top of it, and you roll it out. Mm -hmm. you know, that's what you do. You know? Go to the pre games of most NBA games, these guys are rolling out their, their legs, their, their muscles on the, on the court. Jason Torado. If you're new to the channel, then just click below and you can subscribe and you'll get a new video sent to your email box every single week. If you like these videos, please support my channel by checking out my uh, Crackamaniac t-shirts by clicking on the link below. And also, uh, I really appreciate those people that support me through things like PayPal and Patreon and also sponsoring individual videos. You know what? I really couldn't make these videos without you guys, so I thank you so much. So I'll talk to you soon. Check you out next week.